Today's video was sponsored by Riziki Ali, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. One of the greatest sins that you can ever commit in politics is to underestimate your opponent. 9 out of 10 times when you do this, you are likely to go home. It doesn't matter whether you are the incumbent or polls show you are the favorite, always put in the work until the very end. The pollsters in 2016 lied to Hillary Clinton. Every single pollster in America told her that she is not only going to win the election, but she is going to win by a landslide. A margin that has never been seen before. And that made the Democrats so rebellious that people like Barack Obama invited even Trump to State House. I think it was the press correspondence dinner. And he had this to say in the face of Donald J. Trump. Here's the tip. I'll leave it to you to speculate on how this whole race is going to go. Uh, I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. Meanwhile, Trump campaigned left, right, center. He did not take anything for granted. And because of that hard work, he pulled it off. Meanwhile, the DNC was pumping cash out of their pockets, organizing rallies in Wisconsin and other states. And Hillary Clinton would abscond duty by saying she fainted, she had a stroke, a bunch of excuses. Because she knew she had it in the bag. Why work so hard when everybody knows you're the next president of the republic? And that is the exact same complacency that we saw in Kenya when people like Francis Atuoli ill-advised Raila that he should skip out on the presidential debate because why debate with a thief? And also, all the pollsters, IRS, TIFA, you name them, they were all showing that Raila Odinga was not only ahead, but ahead by a landslide. Even if you look at the stops, the political stops they were making in the last election, Ruto traversed more territory than Ray Laudinga because he believed he was the underdog. That's what everyone was selling to him and his party. Meanwhile, Raila thought he's ahead, so he laid back, skips the political debate, and suddenly he loses by a small margin of 200,000. Just four or five extra rallies from Ray Laudinga could have made him president. And even rallies aside, just by showing up to the debate, I believe he could have had a serious fighting chance to become president of Kenya. But he chose not to. So what did Kenyans see when they turned on their television screens? They saw Yvonne Okwara and Latif asking very partisan questions towards candidate William Ruto. I.e. when Yvonne Okwara was saying, why should Kenyans believe you? To which the president responded, why shouldn't they? Again, they told him, how much is enough? in regards to finances and the president said enough is enough so he had i think he had been prepped well in regards to how to handle this uh, media that's out to get him but long story short the absence of Raylo Dinga meant that as kenyans were watching the debate and both sides of the aisle watched that debate they saw a man who is coming under attack he's being oppressed by his own boss uru kenyatta the media is out to get him his opponents are out to get him and most people relate to that kind of thing and that is why people decided this man is being fought too much let's vote for him those sympathy votes that fred matiang used to talk about I believe a certain percentage of the votes of William Ruto were sympathy votes. Handed to him courtesy by Ray Laudinga skipping the debate and the media attacking candidate William Ruto day in, day out. And now back to the case of Donald J. Trump. He did so well in the 2016 election, but in 2024, it seems he is following the footsteps of Ray Laudinga. Donald Trump has literally refused to attend the GOP party primary debates. And in this video, I want us to look into the reasons why Donald J. Trump has decided not to attend those debates. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, what are the two reasons why former President Donald J. Trump has decided to skip the GOP party primary debates? The first is that his own vice president, Mike Pence, is running for president of America. That is an automatic vote of no confidence from your number two. We almost had that same drama in Kenya. In 2017, and this is where the beef between Ruto and Raila started, at least according to President Ruto. So in 2017, as we went for the rerun, there are some people who lied to President Uru Kenyatta that William Ruto is thinking of running for president independently. So as you go to the ballot, you will not have a deputy. And assuming that happened, the two would never see eye to eye. In fact, let me not even over-explain. Here's the tape of President Ruto saying the same. Hawa uimutu wakayenda pale, akakoroka koroka, ikasamekana turudia uchaguzi. 
Si ndio? Watu wengi hiyo ni kwa sababu gani? Watu wengi walikuwa nafikiri sasa ikisemekana turudie uchaguzi ati tutawachana na uhuru. Sijui kwa sababu gani watu walikuwa naamini hivyo. Now in Kenya that was a rumor. In America it is a reality. Trump lost the election in 2020 whether he lost or it was stolen he didn't uh, maintain his position as president in 2024 he's going to have another stab at it and his own VP rather than backing him up or staying out of the race to give him another option is showing up as a presidential candidate so the narrative is that Mike Pence has been paid to bring down Donald J Trump so that's the first reason why he has absconded that debate the second reason is that as the immediate former president of the United States over 60% of the Republicans rally behind him so he doesn't need to go there his strategy is to stay out of that primary debate watch how each candidate is conducting themselves because quite frankly they are auditioning to become his VP he doesn't need to be there they're not clamoring there to become president none of them can for as long as Trump is on the ballot they are there you know it looks like an audition to become Donald Trump's vice president and the man who's likely to get there is Ron DeSantis a Trump and Ron DeSantis ticket sells Mike Pence's credibility went down the moment he starts vying against his own boss it doesn't even make sense but as usual guys that's just my opinion do drop me your own comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.